today, and we're ready to go. Rose stands in. This is his sixth start. He's 4-0 with a 2-0-8 yeah. ERA. And he was not able to hold up. Zion Rose becomes the first strikeout victim. Uh, but you understand his point. Swing and a miss. Off speed completely flummoxes more. And that's back-to-back -back K's for Chase Burns. Two for his last 15 coming in the Wake series. He flies it deep out to center. Nelson circles and makes the play. Two innings, that sets a tone for a whole series. Wake Forest squad chops it to third. Tough play for Hoy, but he gobbles it up and throws out King. Good starts for both starters. In an organization like the Citadel, that's a pretty good compliment. Hard hit, but stabbed by Lene at first, and Matt Klein heads back to the dugout. I think we're seeing that a lot of, around a lot of baseball. Yes, sir. Oh, there's the third strikeout for Chase Burns as Humphrey fans on the breaking ball. Takes a caught third strike there as Webster's hitting his spots early. Another 3-2. Hawk works his way on board. The expectations, it's unrealistic for everybody to meet him. And that creates a pickle. As Lucas Moore camps out underneath a fly ball, Nelson skies to center for the final out here in the second. And that's kind of the feeling you get with Burns. Toward the gap in left center, Nelson on his horse. He leaves his feet and he can't get it. We've got ourselves a base runner. It's Ryan McCoy and he's headed for third and he will dive in face first with the first knock of the day for the Cardinals. It's a triple. Yeah, low scoring game, bring everybody in. Tapper to the mound. Runner not coming home. High throw to first, handled by Wene. Two outs, runner still a third. Pitch around, the triple from McCoy. Little looper, shallow left, but the shortstop King is there. And the Cardinals are unable to bring McCoy home. Well, if only Tom knew what he was doing and put him in for offensive reasons instead of defensive reasons. But alas, Salvino strikes out to start the third. Zeros in the fifth, and then well, there's a deep drive to left for Cameron Gill. Back to the fence, Rose, he can't get it, it's in the ballpark. And to second base, Motors, Cameron Gill with a one-out double here in the third. First hit of the day for the Deeks. Actually, and usually it's his cover. Chopper over the mound, Keelan at short. Some things stay the same. Four-pitch walk for Tellier. Hard shot, but right at Keelan. And the shortstop flips to Alisea. That's nice. Moore went down swinging in the first. He keeps the bat on his shoulders and goes to sit down here in the fourth. Intensity, adrenaline, and everything else catches up, and he's very energetic. Down goes Anderson on the fifth strikeout of the day. Well, those games against LSU were some of the greatest college baseball games of all time. Chase Burns strikes out the side in the fourth. Get in the batter's head by doing this mid at bat. Off the handle, he pops it right to the mound. And but there were some good percussionists in the outfield. Lucas Moore in center puts it away. Bind your entire <laughs> arsenal. Kofaxian. There's the seventh strikeout for Chase Burns, as usual. Humphrey could not hold up. And that's the fifth consecutive Cardinal down by way of the K. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and miss, and down goes Hoy. Chase Burns is a machine right now. He's got nine strikeouts, including six consecutive Cardinals. This is a solid crowd. Perhaps more than you would expect for a chilly Friday at noon. And Salvino strikes out against Webster for the second time. Foul tip into the catcher's mitt, and down goes Gill. For the Cardinals, a few innings prior. Not going to have a hit this time. Gill throws down a first to complete the strikeout. It's the seventh consecutive Cardinal in the third inning. To the third baseman, Tellier. A couple crow hops, two gone. See if we can do some damage there. Deep fly ball to left. 
Zion Rose has untied this game. It's a solo shot for Rose, and the Cardinals lead one to nothing. And Rose went with the Jeffrey Leonard flaps down all the way around first and all the way around second. Not much question about it as soon as the ball came off the bat. 97 mile an hour fastball. And turn it around and more strikes out looking. So two more strikeouts in the frame. Rounding out Javar's skill set by making him into a better punter. Just leave your partner <laughs> hanging to dry. Bunted to the mound. Koger goes to first. And the Deacons have the time run in scoring position. High chopper to short. Williams runs around it. And Keelan throws King out. Now the 3 1. Hard shot to third. And it's stabbed down, but there will be no play. This game is tied. Hoy got a leather on it. Oh. Deep drive to center. Moore charging to the track, but he will have the room. Brings the heat in the 2 1, and a diving play at short by King. Deep in the hole. He gets him. One of the plays of the season from Seaver King at short, one gone here in the seventh. He hadn't really been tested yet, especially at the shortstop position. Well, he was, and he answered the challenge. Great scoop by 1A at first as well, but a tremendous play by Seaver King at shortstop. The 109 that burns through last week is about as high as they could ever go. Crying waves and didn't come close. Will this be the pitch that gets him strike up for 13? No. To the second baseman, Hawk gets back on his feet. Low throw off Winnie's glove. A couple handfuls of steals this year. Oh, he's picked off. Can you believe it? Chase Burns could not get Keelan on the grounder of coming into the game as a pinch runner immediately getting picked. That's so close. Ooh. At first base, he is out. Burns picks Benson off. It's official, folks. 3-2 to Hawk. Called third strike. Honest, genuine guy. You made a mistake in your book. No one needed to know. That's a base hit down the left field line. Off the bat of Nelson, digging for two. The throw is offline, and the Deacons have a one-out double. And Salem State isn't really Wake Forest crosstown rifle. Chopper up the middle, into center field. Cameron Gill has done it again. Deacons with their first lead of the day as Nelson crosses the plate. Two to one, Wake Forest. Gill leads from first. And he draws the pickoff throw that squirts away. And the first baseman, McCoy, climbed up on top of him. Gill trying to get to second. The throw is not in time. Gill's now at second. Still two outs. And ball four sends Williams to first. Runners going from second. The throw down is not in time. It's a stolen base for Gill. Chopped up the middle. Going to be a tough play. Ali Saya fumbles it. Throw back behind the runner at third. Everybody's safe. Deacons lead three to one. Two runs, though, here in the last of the seventh to break the tie. King has another base hit, and the Deacons extend their lead. Bobbled out and left by Rose, but there will be no advance as the third run of the inning comes across. Two on, two out. And they got him picked off. Could be a rundown in between both bases, and he applied the tag. That's the inning. Seven true lefties and a switch hitter for McDonald today. It's a strike three, but the pitch gets away, and the throw to first is going to be well late. 1-1 one, one pitch, down and away, skips past Gill. And you don't need to steal second base if the Deacons are going to give it to you that easily. Stolen bases this year. And that... Apparently nicked McCoy on the way by. To Greg Campy, good guy. Deep down the right field line, fading foul, but there's room for Salvino to make the catch. I think it will. Fly ball to center. Nelson puts it away. 
calendar year 2024. Nice to have some work in Winston-Salem, though, that's for sure. Strike three called on Reinish. Second series for Louisville. Chopper to third, Anderson goes to second, and then it gets into right field. Well, lots of defensive changes these past couple innings for the Cardinals, and it might have caught up with them. Watch all the sports going on. Hard shot right to first. McCoy to Hoy at second, back to first. Not in time, and one scores. These nuggets correct. Yeah. Right at the second baseman, bobbled by Beard. Late flip. Did he get him? Yes. Strange territory for the Cardinals program. Swing and a miss, but it gets away from Gill again for the second straight inning. For the stretch of seven of the next eight away from DeVille. Chopper to second. Hawk will take the out at first. Regions, the schools, the tradition. Liner to second. Hawk with a layout catch. No, he didn't catch it. He'll throw to first. And I thought that was going to be a game ending double play. But Ball was ripped, so it was a very nice play by Hawk to come up with it. Look at the look at the space underneath him, and the ball just squirts out at the last second as he lands. Okay, versus Matt Klein, first pitch swinging. This should do it to right field for Mitchell Salvino, and that is the ball game. The first ACC series win of the season for the Deeks.